I like how strong the termite is. So I, I try to find the biocontrol agent because I am the, I am from the agriculture faculty. I study about the sustainable agricultural system so that I want to contribute this system. But, uh, I actually fascinated how insect, how clever the insect is. Because we have a very high humidity, temperate country, we have a kind of lot of house made with wood. Actually, the Coptotheramus and the Lichidopteramus is a very serious pest termite that you can see almost everywhere in Japan. And the Coptotheramus is the most serious one because they make a huge colony. So once you got the infestation from this termite, it is actually difficult to get rid of them. My research is to find a way to apply the biological agent to termite. Because in the, in biological control in termite, it is not really successful at this moment. People start to think about the reason and the so sociality of the termite could be a very important key which make difficult to apply the biocontrol to the termite. So I want to find out how termite resists to the fungal or biological control in infection by using sociality. The fungi is the most representative biocontrol agent for the termite anyway. And then this is a very easy agent to spread in the field or in the grass house. All Anton Pashenk fungi which I use, you can find normally everywhere like uh, Boveria, Bashiana, Boveria, Brongariti, Metrisium, Manisopria, Isaria, for, for, Formosae I use for my experiment. And then they are kind of a representative biocontrol agent anyway all of them. In my research, I started to see if termite can fight back to the pathogenic infection by grooming behavior. But still, we don't know if grooming behavior is very, the behavior typically to protect them. They termite do the grooming behavior quite constantly. We don't know if termite do this behavior actually just targeting to remove the pathogen from their nest made cuticle. And then we don't know why, why they do this. We don't know what is the trigger of the, of this behavior. And then we don't know what is the real mechanism from the neuron to the behavior active activity. So I'd like to, I'd like to find out this type of the thing. For example, Bavaria, you can see like 600 to 10,000 conidial attachment on the surface of the termite. And then after 24 hours, there's almost no, zero. So it's really, really efficient, I think. If they don't have antennae, they cannot do more detailed, careful grooming and then, so that it means that the duration of the grooming or the efficiency of the grooming could be different if they have antennae or not. Also, in my observation, the weaker individual have more grooming and then if the individual have some breeding or some, 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 some cues that it, this individual won't be helped by grooming behavior. The unfortunately termites start to attack this individual and then the grooming behavior and then attacking behavior is quite related. Uh, yeah, they are get rid of them from the nest population anyway. Try to get rid of this weak nest mate from the population.
So, <laughs> at this moment, I am not very supportive about the biocontrol agent to termite, but it's just not yet. If we could find a very, if we start to understand, uh, it could be a very powerful method.